In an effort to squeeze some more performance and economy out of our EcoBoost F-150, today we're installing some hot side turbo piping from AFE. While the install is fairly simple and straightforward, this install can be tricky due to the tight space in the engine bay. After removing the bottom splash guard and our bank's cold air intake, we remove the stock charge pipe from the intake manifold and the intercooler in order to make more room for the hot side piping. We next removed all of the vacuum tubes that connect to the passenger side piping to prep it for removal. Then the clamps at both the intercooler and the turbo can be loosened and the piping wiggled out of the engine bay. The same can be done on the driver's side, but in this case we loosen the bolts on the intake and coolant reservoir in order to move it slightly out of the way of the piping. To set up the new piping, add the supplied fitting to the pipe. We then dropped in the driver's side tube and tightened it down on the turbo and the intercooler. Once it was in place, the middle clamps were tightened down and the air intake box bolted back in. After adding the stock boot to the end of the passenger side pipe and the new AFE boot on the turbo inlet, we dropped in the AFE pipe. Then it was tightened down to the turbo and the intercooler. All that is left to do now under the hood is to replace the vacuum lines on the new piping, replace the stock charge pipe, and the cold air intake. Under the car, snap the splash guard back into place and your install of AFE's hot side turbo piping is finished.